Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, whatever time it is in your neck of the woods. This is Tony, and welcome to today's video. So if you guys haven't seen in-game, you can log on right now and collect a shell robot for absolutely free. Not only that, every day from now until the 24th of December, there's going to be a new prize available for free for everybody. At the end, you're going to have a full, complete acid shell setup. Totally, totally awesome. And there was also a little bug where you could collect the entire operation and complete it with one click of the button. I posted a video on that yesterday. Um, go, guys, go check that out. Also, if you guys are returning players, now is a really good time to get back into the game. I'm going to show you guys a few tips, tactics, and older setups to get you acclimated and up to speed with the current meta. Let's swing on over to the hangar. If you guys haven't yet, if you leave a like rating on the video, that would help tremendously. And if you guys are new, please consider subscribing, clicking that bell, and selecting all so you guys never miss a thing. Right here on the screen um, are a few of my favorite older bots, older setups um, that could compete and contend in the current meta. First off, the Avalanche Behemoth, along with the brand new pilot skill. There's a lot of new pilot skills, Explosives Expert. This is going to allow your explosions to have a much larger radius and bypass shields and stuff. It's really, really awesome. Very, very strong. Um, the old Sonic Fenrir, tried and true, this thing has stood the test of time throughout many, many metas, and I'm sure will continue to in the future. Uh, one of my favorite robots, really, really good setup right here. This thing can contend with anything out there. Um, the Ravana, another tried and true robot. This one I have outfitted with the newest weapon tree. Um, these are rockets would also apply a rust effect very very strong weapons but if you don't have these weapons yet you could use all the weapons like flames sonics there's a variety of different stuff if you guys have any questions let me know down in the comment section also the raven the raven just received a brand new pilot which you can get for free from the operation her name is nessa riggs really really good pilot um upon activation raven gets stealth for five seconds um so this is really really good now you could slip and slide undetected around the map very very fun and the typhon typhon's another great robot to counter current meta stuff um you don't necessarily need the new weapons i have them on there because they're really really great on there but you could use whatever you have um also there is a link which i will provide in the description um, to the War Robots page, which has a detailed description on, on how else to get up to speed. Um, also, I will have a link in my description and in the pinned comment where you can click on, um, and it's linked to my name, to my account. So if, if you guys click on it, it'll do some type of calculation and contribution towards me. So I would really, really appreciate if you guys could do that as well. Let's slide on over and check out what they got on the website. All right, so here we go. All right, guys, so if you check out this website, it's going to have a detailed breakdown on a lot of the things I talked about and some things you have. And it's a really great tool for new players to get acclimated and get situated with all the ongoing changes. Another thing I forgot to mention that the black market crates are a beautiful way to get new items. Unlike in the past, the black market crates actually have usable items, which they basically never did before so you can get a lot of good good items out of there that are going to be extremely beneficial also special deliveries the prices on all the special delivery stuff has dropped immensely if you go and check out the specials category which we'll go check out now um compared to the past the prices are much much cheaper So let's take a look here. Seven thousand for thirty nine ninety nine. That's the gold one. Nine thousand for fourteen ninety nine. Now, if you just take a look up here, the cost for the bronze, three thousand six hundred for ninety nine ninety nine. But in in this much different much different story. Nine thousand for fourteen ninety nine. So the cost and prices for a lot of this stuff has gotten so so much cheaper, which is a beautiful beautiful thing. If you ask me, um, the price point of entry for a lot of people, um, it's a lot more accessible to a lot more people right now. Whereas before, um, basically only the mega whales were allowed to, you know, get all the new stuff pretty quickly. Um, 
this all in all is a, a beautiful change um 7 000 for 39.99 for the gold let's take a quick comparison here and check this out so 1200 is 9.99 And here you can get 7,000 for 39.99. So huge, huge value increase there. Let's check out the black market. Um, let's check out the gold one first. Feet the Gore Belov, Misaki Panchi, um, special edition scatter. Now with the special editions, you get 5% additional damage where that wasn't the case before. Um, so you could really benefit greatly off rocking some of those special edition weapons. Gravity amplifier, that's a must have right there. Grand Balance Reactor, Boom Box Devastator. Um, if you go through here, a lot of great prizes. So many great prizes to be had, to be used. Um, all of this stuff, viable, usable in the current meta. Also the autopilot. What can I say about that guy? Absolutely amazing. And as you can see, all good stuff, man. I remember when I first started playing, the black market didn't have much that you could actually use in there. I think maybe a last stand unit or something like that was basically the only thing you could use and that came out of the gold crate uh with that being said i appreciate you guys so much have hope everybody has a great day and keep coming back